Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to take a look at another state machine concept, conduits, which are shared transitions that can be used inside the state machines. Okay, so the last tool that we are going to take a look at in terms of state machines are the conduits. Conduits are this type of node that we have here that says dead and that has these three lines on the side. And it is kind of a shared transition, so a more advanced transition tool. And here you can see that it has been used to perform different deaths, different types of deaths, depending on these transition rules. And usually a state has a, an animation asset associated, but conduits do not. They have a condition inside them and they are used just as transitioning nodes instead of a node with, with animations and with contents. So you can see that you can implement one too many relationships, like this case, which is one kind of state to many, but you could also do many to one or many to many. So as you can see, it is an advanced type of transition and it is going to be useful in more complex cases where you don't need the state and its contents and you just need to make clear that you need to transition to other neighboring states. The example that we are going to see is going to be similar to this one, so you are going to see how useful it is when you have these types of situations. Okay, so in our animation blueprint, we remember had the single death which was being shot and now we want to create two types of deaths one where we are shot and the other one where we are stabbed so for that we could use the state alias already but i want you to see what conduits can be useful for and here if we call the conduit killed and we create a couple of transitions to other states we are going to be able to also model those different deaths. Inside the conduit, you can see that there is only a Boolean condition, which we can uh, check so that it goes to the next transitions and the corresponding state. In our case, if we wanted to be purists, we could connect the is dead Boolean variable, but since the state alias is already doing that for us, it would not be necessary here. So you can see that Right now we have the is stabbed and is shot boolean variables that we are going to use from the killed conduit to the different types of deaths. And also remember that we need to say when the state alias can transition to the conduit, which we are going to use the is that boolean variable for. As I mentioned before, that is why it is redundant in the killed conduit to do the same. So we are going to avoid reading a variable and just check the can enter transition boolean. So with this, we are ready to create the two states that we are going to need to get the two different types of deaths. So in this case, let's create two new states. Right click or with the left mouse button, you can drag and let go and select the other state option, name the state, shot in this case. Let's create another one, select the state, and then we are going to call it stabbed. And once we are done, we are going to have two empty states with two empty transitions that when we fill all of that, it's going to work and we are going to get what we want, which is two types of deaths that depend on those two booleans that we have in the variables section. And right now, let's go ahead and fill those transitions. Double click on the circle as always and select the is stab variable, get it, and then connect it to the result. Align it with Q if you like things tidy, like me, and compile. 
go to the next state and in the next state we are going to use the is shot variable and that is just going to make the killed conduit transition to the other state and give us what we want which is a different death so in this case let's go back to the main states and let's go to the other transition let's drag and drop the variable directly align it with q and we have our second transition and right now if we use the preview you are going to see that we go to t pose and it is normal because right now we have no sequences no animations so you are going to see that when we press on is stab the two conditions are getting fired which is what we want and going to the stab um, state but if we press play you are going to see that since we have no animation we go to the t pose or a pose in this case if we now go to the stabbed state and the shot state and fill those animations from the asset browser let's go ahead and drag and drop the animation for the stabbing compile and now do the same but for the shot Let's go ahead and drag and drop, second animation, Q to align as always, and right now when we are done, if we now go back to the state machine and this time use the anim preview, you are going to see that everything is more or less working. If I press is stabbed, you can see a different death than if I now go and press the shot one which is going to go to another one. Remember that now we have two new states, so we have to activate in the two land and in the two falling those two states so they can transition back to the locomotion or the falling states. If I press the is dead and is stab buttons, you can see that it can go back and forth between the locomotion because if I now press the is shot button, you can see that the animation is the correct one. And as before, we need to go to the two falling state alias and activate shot and stabbed so we can go back and forth between the falling states and the death. But it is pretty much the same. So now if we would use any boolean, everything is going to work fine. If we check the global alias, you are going to see problems appear because if we switch when we are already dead, for example, if we are shot, we can check stabbed and the animations are going to interrupt each other. So you can see that in the middle of the animation, you can go from one to the other. And this may not be ideal. So again, just another reminder that you need to be careful with the global alias because in the beginning it looks awesome and it looks like it is really easy to just use that, but I don't recommend it at all. Just be extra careful if you do use it and now let's go back to a proper implementation and see how clean the node graph looks and how tidy it is and just remember that it is as easy as using conduits and state aliases in the proper way so here as i mentioned before remember that killed could be avoided so the node graph could be even simpler but i wanted you to see an example Another way of using the conduit is having a second entry state because remember that usually we could only transition to a single state but if we use a conduit there we can transition to other states instead of a single one. So here if we add a couple of states like loco and the for example air state we could initialize the state machine to a different initial state depending on a condition. For this you need to go to the state machine and activate the allow conduit entry states. Since I'm not going to use this I'm going to delete it but just know that you have that possibility. And as you can see conduits are extremely useful so just remember that you have this awesome tool at your disposal. Just to reiterate what I said earlier let's go ahead and see how this would look without the conduit. So having the 
death state alias, you could go ahead and transition directly to the shot and stabbed states, and that would get rid of the conduit. So in what cases is the conduit strictly needed and how would it look? Well, if we didn't have the state alias, you could use the killed conduit to transition from the other states. So in this case, you could go ahead and connect everything to the killed conduit and that would fulfill the same purpose as the state alias. But as you can see, it would look bad because you are connecting everything to it and it is better than the alternative that we will see now, but it is not ideal. So the state alias here would be better than the conduit. If we didn't have the conduit, in that case, we would have to connect jump, fall loop to shot and jump to stabbed. And as you can see, everything should go to that state and that would be really crazy. You can see that this can get messy real fast. You cannot see anything and you would also have to connect the stabbed back to jump, stabbed back to fall loop. And you can see that everything is getting completely out of hand. So here the conduit, if we didn't have state aliases, would improve a little bit the contents of the node graph. So you can see where conduits are needed and it would be probably if you could not have a unified transition and you could not use a state alias, it would be extremely necessary to use the conduit. As you can see here, if I keep on going and add the locomotion, it gets even crazier. At this point, you cannot see anything, you cannot do anything. So you can see that these tools are extremely useful to keep a clean node graph and they should not be disregarded because mm, you can see the power that they have. Well, so that's it for this video. As you can see, this is another simplification tool that will allow you to keep your state machines clear and tidy. Remember, if this video has been helpful to you, go ahead, like and subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next videos. Huge shout out and thanks to all my Patreons. As you know, making these videos takes a ton of time and effort because I research in depth all of the topics that I cover. So if you want me to keep making awesome stuff, consider supporting me on Patreon.